yo what's going on guys and we are hearing that the miami heat are most likely going to be the team that damian lillard is traded to there's a strong belief a deal to miami remains the most likely outcome for damian lillard per shops rania rival teams are hesitant to offer a compelling package without the assurance that lily lillard would be happy to join and play for their team is what's being reported and i've said it the offer it's 45 million they have to get for lillard and they can do that easily by packaging yo nikola jovich Tommy hawkes tyler hero and duncan robinson for damian lillard but we know that the blazers have no interest for tyler hero so tyler hero and his 27 million dollar contract more than likely will be sent to the nets and the nets could then give up maybe a combination of Garon Sharp, Cam Thomas, and maybe like a Nick Claxton. And those guys go to Portland. So Portland ends up with like Duncan Robinson and Nick Claxton, Jovich, Tommy Hawkins, or Garik Whitehead. Maybe one of the guys that got drafted from either the Nets or Heat. And Deron Sharp and Cam Thomas. Those are the players I think would be in the deal. And then obviously Miami has three first round picks and several second round picks they can trade right there. The other team, if the Nets don't want to do it, is the Spurs. The Spurs can take on Tyler Hero's contract and use a combination of Doug McDermott, Zach Collins, Devontae Graham, Malachi Bronin, and Blake Wesley as salary fillers and young players and you know role players to entice the Blazers and heat because you know everything would have to go around that and it makes sense that that's what's going on and because everyone's rushing to hear if damian lillard is going to be traded and sam and mech reported over the weekend that league sources indicate that the blazers are entertaining offers from around the league to seek the best possible deal for them though there remains a strong belief that Miami remains the most likely outcome. Lillard's openness with his preference is expected to keep other teams at bay without assurance that Lillard would be happy to join them. And it's basically a waiting game at this point because we're just we're just waiting. So I do want to hear your guys' thoughts. Where do you think Lillard goes and why? But yeah, Lillard to Miami just makes the most sense. I've said that in all my videos so far. And I want to hear what would be your trade package. Again, the trades I said weren't exactly what I think the trades would be like, but I think those are the players who would be in the trade packages that would be discussed between the Portland Trailblazers and the Miami Heat as they discuss what's fair compensation for Damian Lillard. Which again, understandable if this deal does take a, several weeks, which the only downside if it does drag out for the Miami Heat, if they do end up landing Damian Lillard is the longer that this deal drags out, okay? The, the more free agents that they miss out on being able to sign at a discount because they want to play with Damian Lillard and Jimmy Butler, etc. So there is that being kind of like something we have to think about. I think Miami wants to move on this deal quicker and they're hoping that the deal can move quicker than it, it seems like it will move as Dame is a guy that they would like to get in quick because if they can get him in quick, that means guys who are still in the market that haven't signed that could be useful for them might take a discount to chase a championship with the Miami Heat, which is definitely something Miami is interested in and is probably trying to figure out how they can achieve that and get this deal done quicker sooner rather than later i guess would be the right phrasing of the phrase but that's definitely where i want to hear your guys' thoughts when do you expect the deal to be done what do you expect the package to look like for damian lillard if the miami heats truly are the most likely outcome as being reported by sean Sharania? because it does like i said bring up it opens up 
a whole can of worms about the timeline and how quickly this deal should get done so they can get some of the free agents that are still available that can be useful for building a championship roster, in my, in my humble opinion. But again, let me hear those opinions down below in the comment section. That's basically going to be it for me. Hope you guys like and subscribe, but peace out.